What's going on? How y'all doing? Listen, listen, listen. We are we about to just get right into it. I told y'all I was gonna be back. Sean is back, you know. I told you I had to take a little bit. I knew we was gonna be back shortly. I told y'all that. We got a date. You see, we are dressed for the occasion because we gotta make that good impression. You know what I'm saying? Got the wingman right here, of course. So you know everything's about to go right because we always do right. We always do right. Alright. I'm excited. You know, I'm ready. I smell good and all that. Let's do this shit. Hey. Yo. You know, this is this 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 one's a little special, you know. For me to y'all. You know, for all the appreciation y'all have been doing for making it this far with me. I'm gonna show you what my appreciation. Uh, yo, super seducer. Hey, look at that abuser. Matter, matter of fact, forget that guy. Hey, let's go out and get fries. It's all about me and you. Hey, so come through. We can have the time of our life. A I spice. <laughs> I didn't mean that girl. A I had it last week, but that don't matter. Cause you're in this first place, girl. A so you better stick with me, girl. A or I'ma throw you to the curb. Alright. See, see that that one's a little special, cause you know. I don't know, I just, I just gotta keep it real with y'all. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we are at the last freaking chapter. We are first date Kate. <laughs> yeah. Woo, all right. First date Kate, this is the last one. You know we gotta set this shit off. All right, you did really well to get her on a date, but there's still a lot to do. Can you charm her enough this evening to take things physical? The goal is a kiss. It's not that hard of a goal. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. That's not that hard. We just gotta do what we do. All right, our first, our first task of the day is to choose the date location. We got the bar, 8 p.m., club with friends, coffee, 2 p.m., or hiking. Did she say she liked hiking? No, that might have been somebody. That might have been another girl. See, we got too many girls that we thinking about that we don't know which is which. Club with friends. Now, I know that's wrong because let's see. Club with friends? You want to get her by herself. You don't want her friends distracting her. Coffee, 2 p.m. She don't seem like the type she would be for that. So we got to go with the bar. Ideally, we want nighttime right. plus drinks, of right? That's to right. make he sure the date goes the as well as possible. So the bar else. is the best option. I bet it is. Is this, is this our girl? He's already sitting there waiting for her, you know. Mm. Hey. Waiting for the girl. Hey. 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 Looking Get the cute as always, girl. Okay, what was that slow motion for? Like, she was sitting there looking at him while he's looking at the side like, hmm. How should you sit? Opposite with each other or side by side? Why is that even an option? You sit opposite from each other so y'all can look each other in the eyes. Isn't that what you always do on a date? You never sit freaking side by side unless you're with people. Man, get the freak out of here. Um, take a seat. Thanks. But that's usually how it be. What? No, no, huh? no. You don't sit opposite. What the freak you the mean you is, don't sit? Can't touch her up. No, but seriously, it makes it a bit harder. When you're sitting <sighs> side by side, you get to kind of take a break, look around the room. If there's an Enough. awkward silence, it's not so awkward. And like I said before, you can touch her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, see, nah, nah, because that, that actually tripped me up a little bit. What do you mean you don't sit opposite from her because you can't touch her up? It's the first date. You're not going to be able to do that shit. 
I get what he's saying about the looking around and stuff, but again, you don't do all this. Yeah, the first date, it's always going to be a little awkward because you're just getting to know her. But you know what? He's the dating coach. I'm not. I guess I don't know shit. <laughs> side by side, of course, I guess. Come take a seat over here. I guess. Okay. I, well, that's why, because it's this type of fucking bar where they have Perfect. shit like that. So many people sit opposite each other on first dates, and Which it gets is, really awkward. Because but that's how it's supposed to be. You've got that eye contact the whole time. That's how it's you're supposed to be. You stuff to say, feel super uncomfortable. You have stuff to say when you're sitting you side by side. Up, right? So it's much better to sit side by side. This dude can't touch so around. That's all he cares about. How have you been the past few days? What have you been doing? Uh, actually, quite a lot. Mm. I went to the gym as usual. I like her. I like her and accent, Bill. So this, this makes it, that makes me feel a little bit better. Yeah. Than, than, um, uh, what just night, happened? Watched a movie. Okay, what movie? Uh, it was Seven with Brad Pitt. A nice one. Uh, yeah, Seven. It's good, right? it's you know, I heard of that movie, but I don't think I saw it. serial killer. Scary. Oh, so you've seen it? Yeah, yeah I like it this. is very scary. I liked it very much. Her legs, I think it's you know, her small. legs are. It's a strange very, film, you know, girl. It's not like Sex in the it? City <laughs> or if you know what like I mean. Finding Nemo or something. It's, yeah. quite, it's quite a tough film, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. But I like tough films. Mm. So you watch make horror movies? Tough films, films you like, like tough that? things? Yeah, I do. I do quite often. I think they make you think, and it's interesting. But not what if there's loads of blood and people dying? You can watch it, or you kind of cover your eyes and stuff. Not like that. I wouldn't watch the saw or something like that. Why not? Because it's stupid. I think. Th she this thinks one it's stupid. very smart. You should know if you watch. That. Yeah, it is very smart. You're always thinking about, I, uh, you know, how they can catch saw? Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't like it. Right. That's just me. What else have you got going on? Actually, I'm moving house at the moment, and all it's right. very, very difficult and annoying because there are all those boxes I have to move and all my stuff. You have to pack things yeah, up. Pack and up and then pack transport things it all. Up. Oh, it's so difficult. Yeah, they say it's a stressful thing to do to move house. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Girl, you better man up. So, me, <laughs> all right, let me not be so. But no, seriously. If she's trying to do that. To try to, you know, get a reaction out of me so I could be like, oh, I could help you. Uh-uh. Rookie move. You're not going to do that on a first date with a girl you barely know. Offer to come and help. See, that's what I was saying. You don't do that. Use it as a, a reason to check her muscles or sympathize. I think we, since she said something like that. We might as well make some fun out of it. I think the main thing you're going to need is some muscles. So let me check your biceps. Show me what you've got here. Flex it. Come on. See that on the... It's kind of like a pea, isn't it? <laughs> Not much there. No, it isn't. I'm strong. Oh, you're strong, mm -hmm. huh? Maybe. I remember I worked actually for a few days when I was a teenager as a removal guy. I oh. Just, yeah, carrying all the stuff. <laughs> really? Did you like it? No. Uh, it was very physical and actually... He did. I did. Okay. Yeah, he, he did. It's good for fitness and stuff so maybe you'll enjoy it carrying stuff <laughs> hopefully i will <laughs> okay so she didn't get upset nice one. you didn't it? fall for the trap which I is always a offer loads of help uh, to girls that you want to sleep with you want to resist that as much as possible and here you've turned it around and actually used it as a way to uh, get a little bit physical and playful well done i like that i know you're busy now with the house and stuff but what do you normally do in your free time do you do any sports did we, yeah, of did course we, I just Didn't we already talk well, about this on when we <laughs> first met her? It's my main hobby, going to the gym, actually. Oh, yeah. That's not yeah, technically like a sport. Much. Like, what, what do you do there? I can't. I do a lot of different things, actually. Mm -hmm. The main one is doing weights, usual mm -hmm. stuff. Okay. And yeah, but that, the muscle is still a little small, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's very, very painful, but very rewarding as well. For flexibility. Yeah, so you I want like to be it. able to do splits or, yeah, that's or my kick, goal. kick people in their heads. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Like, yeah, like if somebody okay. fuck with you. Yeah, and, so, and also I do Pilates sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah, Pilates, so that thing old as... I've never heard about. nobody use Pilates in a while. What about you? Do you do sports? Uh, yeah, I've done lots of sports. I used to do I could have sworn boxing, we already had this conversation squash. when we first met her um, about what do we do for in our free time. And at the moment, so I why are we do doing it again? Like yeah. oh, and we have too many but girls, so we just got to make sure we understand. I'm talking too much. I need to shut up. Doing things for like endurance, you know, to be to be have good fitness and whatever. Right. And what else do you do apart from physical stuff? 
Apart from physical stuff, I like reading. Mm -hmm. Actually, I read every day, and it's very. I mean, very see, oh, yeah. for what, me, what that's actually. Now, what's the last book you read? I've just finished I, I, uh, Bulgakov's I Master talk, man. Margarita, but it wasn't okay. the first time I've ever read it. <laughs> you read it again? So read, yeah, I like it very much. Read. One of your favorites. And stay in school. Yeah, one of. That's nice because it's classic literature, not like you know Harry Potter and the yeah. Code and <laughs> the girl with the dragon tattoo and all this stuff. Mm, so you like reading as well? Uh, yeah, and he's I like only reading, saying that because she does. Um, not just fiction, but if I read fiction, I like classics. But okay. I like reading sometimes psychology, it's like business, she, th This conversation is so like all types of different. They're stuff. so into it. Yeah, it's like it's not dry. I like psychology as well. And yeah, it's it's like they know each people. other. I don't That's know. Interesting. Because yeah. like yeah, this is a conversation yeah. we can and go back me, and forth with. It's not. Anything, uh, it doesn't feel weird to me. Or, I don't know, like singing, dancing, <laughs> playing the violin, whatever. Uh, actually, I'm absolutely useless at singing. You can't sing. Can't do that. Oh. And don't like it. Yeah, not every girl, not every girl oh, really? can do it. Yeah. Not so every sorry. girl can do it. I mean, I ain't mad at that. That can be interesting. Maybe, maybe one day. Mm -hmm. And I can't play any musical none instruments. None of them. Well, no, Even the xylophone thing or the... <laughs> maybe. Do you know this triangle, that one? You just... <laughs> can do like that, I think. Because that's easy. And the creative thing I do is actually painting. Oh, she can paint, though. She can paint, but she can't sing. Okay. She can't do any instruments. I mean, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm I'm just pointing stuff out. Try to get to the bottom of how it makes her feel. Say that you don't really get art. Say that she can paint. <laughs> you knew if she wants. <laughs> Hold on there, buddy. Hold on there, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, these these. I can tell y'all these freaking answers. I want to pick the bad one so bad. I want to, but I'm not. I I'm not trying to get to the bottom of how it makes her feel. Of course, you want to see how it makes everyone really feel. You know that's actually, how they're passionate but about tell it. Me, like what what does it give you? How do you feel? Oh, it gives me a lot. In the first place, it helps you to reveal something inside. And mm. in the second place, it helps you to. See, I like when we can talk about these things. And it gets really her to talk more about so something she's it's interested not in. something. Because I'm not a painter, right? So okay. it's, it's not something where, you know, you're sitting here, for example, and you just paint the bar and you're just trying to kind of copy it. It's something where something's coming from inside based on how you feel and who you yeah, are. Yeah, it, it is. It right. is. Because I like to create something that may not even exist. In the real oh, which world, is what so it's I like about my painting. Actually, you can but do sometimes anything. I like to paint something that exists. If it's, for example, beautiful scenery or mm. something I really like. Very nice. Ooh, so this yeah. girl so, is. Um, it's something that serves a purpose. She's got a, a vivid mind. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Very cool. I'd love to see some of your paintings one day. Oh really? That yeah. would be lovely. I would. I would be happy to show you something. Yeah, show me something right now. Marvellous. That's tits. exactly what you want to do because when someone has a passion, you want to dig down in it, get them speaking and um, telling you about their feelings. And it's definitely the way to go when someone reveals a life passion. So pay attention to that. Well, I'm paying attention to everything about her. Okay, have a drink. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. They take a little so sip of that me, drink. How about um, traveling? Do you travel? Oh, yes, I do. And um, what do you normally do? Do you cities or adventure holidays? Mm. Uh, actually, I like, I like both. I like she likes cities, everything. And I went they to many like... places in Europe, for example, Prague and no. Berlin and Rome. I'll be honest with y'all, I don't like traveling. So I like that's that. Just me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, Europe is beautiful. And I also went to some exotic places like uh, Lebanon, for example. Lebanon? Lebanon yeah, it's not dangerous there. It was quite scary Lebanon because I like thought it was dangerous. Interesting place. But probably it wasn't at the moment. Mm -hmm. It was fun because I like to see different things and, you know. Different cultures and whatever. But yeah. Rome is very touristy, right? Yeah, all and, these crowds, you're And right. then Lebanon is probably not very touristy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, very different. 
see like different, see the different kinds of things, not yeah, always the same stuff in the same oh, hotel. Oh, shoot, I'm in, so sorry. You know, yeah, places no, where English people are different. So Some like to go to, so uh, for example, to Spain, the every guy in the same place, stuff like that. Uh, only speak English, they don't know any Spanish. That's quite boring. Yeah, and then some people hey, like some to people go are not super uh, good, exotic. Good to get out of their comfort tourists. zone. I'm, okay? I'm more like the second type. I don't like tourists. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> if I go somewhere and the other English people, are, oh no, you know, I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Aren't you English? Oh, really? So right? you don't like English people? Um, when I'm traveling somewhere and you're just surrounded by you know people from your country, how about the same? Like yeah. Traveling and if oh, yeah. everything's I mean, in English, guess, you don't feel I, I guess it so makes sense. I like sense. to go somewhere. And lots of other people, locals to go to people. the local place. But they like still in, are different you would have seen because it in Rome, you can go to some restaurants where it's all just Americans. Yeah, just tourists all yeah. around. Or Not you can good. go to a restaurant if you're lucky, and you're like, oh, I'm sitting with Italians. So I must be in the right place. <laughs> Not the. Wait, I know they're doing a lot of talking right, right now, but this is I what you would actually do on a yeah. real date. You and do you all this me, talking the, like because you gotta get to know the person. or most interesting. Hmm, something that I really liked. Yeah. Yeah. Recently, I went to Cuba, and it was amazing. I hear a lot of people really going really to Cuba. I want to know what's so great about it. Okay, we finally got a choice. All right, like I said, I'm not bored by it, because this is what you actually do on a date. You talk. You can't get nowhere by just not talking and think you're just going to get the sex. Sometimes that might work, but that's with a different type of girl. She likes to talk. Disagree and say that it's not such a cool place. Get her to talk about the best parts of the trip. Impress her with the fact that you've been to the Caribbean many times. Oh, hold on, hold on. Now this one, the answer is not very clear here. Not, I'm not going to say that because we're not, no, I mean, there's nothing wrong with disagreeing, but I mean, I don't know. Impress her or get her talking about the parts of the trip. Like I said, she likes talking. She seems like she seems like she likes talking about it. So, let's hope that this is the great that's really one. That's really interesting because it's uh, it's kind of a strange country, right? It was uh, Americans weren't allowed to go there for so long. They've yeah. got this reputation for the politics, but it's not very developed for tourists, right? So it must be quite interesting. Yeah, it's not, and that's what interesting actually, because mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah, I tell y'all, she liked talking. There, you know? So internet, I think yeah. this yeah. was yeah. the right yeah. answer. There is internet, but it's kind of difficult. Slow and, and stuff. Yeah, very interesting. I like having different. a break from the internet, do you? Oh, yeah, I liked it, but mm -hmm. not all people can handle it. Can right. You? Um, I mean, yeah, I can handle it. I, like I to do it. unplug sometimes. I don't know if I can find a safe other stuff. How relaxing it is when you're not checking your phone all the time. But yeah, right. I do it sometimes as well, and I really liked it. But tell me, like, what's, what's the cool stuff about Cuba? What did you really like about it? Everything. I just liked everything. She the likes everything. What did I tell you? Amazing. She liked everything. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. Palm and the trees, people, beaches. Yeah, the main thing was actually the people because they are very, very friendly and very okay. different. And it was very peaceful there and safe and everything was wonderful. Actually, yeah, mm. you have to... People yeah. are often the most important thing, yeah? Because if they're rude or if there's too many tourists, then it just can destroy the holiday, right? Sure. But you said they're very, very friendly. So you holiday? Good there. Yeah, you're yeah, right. I, I thought you were going there for there. just very a regular nice. day, not a holiday. Excellent. Okay, that, you know, that holidays was the right are something choice. that bring out a lot of emotions you know, just compared like, to her telling what is the right you about, choice? I don't know, her day at work compared with a recent holiday. So it's an area that you want to explore and you want to find out what she felt during that period so that she can kind of relive it, relive it and start feeling good <laughs> Even he's not again perfect. in that he's moment with you as she tells wrong. you about it. Plus, it's keeping the attention on her rather than just cutting her off and talking about something else. Okay, so I'm glad we didn't so try to impress you? her. Do you like traveling? Yeah, I do like he travel. Said I, this I don't like it as much as I did. He definitely when I was younger, I would go away for months traveling. at a time and just oh. go to different countries and, um, you know, come back home and then like it's like two they, weeks later go they away brush again. up on topics that um, we've no already talked more about. Settled and I like spending time at home, but I would say like every month I like to go somewhere. And I spend a I mean, lot of I time like that. in Barcelona. I like what he's saying right nice here about traveling every month, sea. but who got and the money for that? All, you you know, think nice about the expenses. This man's rich. That's why he can do it. PlayStation and stuff. So it's really cool. Oh, really? Uh, PlayStation, you said? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Is there something wrong with that? Mm. Yeah, kind of. And you I got mean, a problem? I think games are just a waste of time. Bruh. I think so. Are you serious? 
Oh no, he didn't just say that to me. My whole thing is about playing video games. Now, if you can't accept that, I mean, you can have your opinion, no doubt. But if you're going to say they waste of time and you know I, that's what I'm about, got to kick you to the curb. Because if you can't respect what I do, I'm going to look like a fool. <laughs> that rhymed and I didn't even mean it to. But seriously, like, that's a life lesson to y'all. If people, if a girl can't appreciate, like, one of your hobbies or something you do, and that's a deal breaker for her, let her go. Because you'll find somebody that actually can respect that. Like, yeah, they might not have the same interests as you, but they can respect that you do that. All right, I'm getting a little too deep here. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know, you're right. I will cut down. That's a beta male move. We're not beta males, okay? We're not beta. All right. What? And I suppose you don't do anything that wastes time. <laughs> Persuade her and tell... And t I can't even say it because I'm over here worried about the other... <laughs> Persuade her that it's actually quite intelligent. If there's something I like, yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it. Shit. Well, look, I kind of get what you mean because it's, you know, some people might say it's immature or something, yeah. but but it's not. It's a little bit different nowadays because older people play, and even in uh, this uh, TV show, House of Cards, is the president, but he plays games. It's quite funny, but yeah, so um, I won't try and convince you that it does good stuff for your brain, and which it does, though. and kind of memorizing it, maps. It does, okay. but specifically for me. I, the way I work in my business is I need to have just a few big ideas, you know, right, every now and again. Right, so I'm not right. sitting there all day doing repetitive stuff. I need to be creative and think of something uh, powerful. And when I'm playing a game, I'm not 100% in there at all. I'm kind of detached mm. and I'm coming up with ideas. So it's something that actually ah, is I not, see, you know, I'm sitting there playing see. the game. I'm actually having these big ideas just like you might if you're in the bar you know and you think oh that's good you know like this i and see you my dude do is if i'm playing something that doesn't need audio you know where it's not really important like a okay. racing game or sports then i listen to audio books oh he's oh. trying to add and stuff actually, in um, audio books i remember books. a few years ago i studied chinese and he's i smart. would be able to sit for hours he just listening smart. to the chinese because i was playing the game so i didn't get bored because if you're just listening to language learning you can't do it for long right? yeah that should get more yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie oh really yeah, yeah maybe. it's not so bad and there's some girl games I'm gonna let you try there's one called flower where you control you know growing flowers and flying oh, really? around and stuff yeah okay maybe maybe I would give it a try then <laughs> oh maybe she would give it a try then brilliant but do you know why this works it's because really? women find it very attractive when a guy shows his intelligence. All women want a guy that's more intelligent than them. And it's very cool if you is can persuade true? her that to your point true. of view. So uh, anytime I mean, you can do this, anytime you've got the facts at hand or a strong I'm argument, you can persuade her. It's actually really attractive and sexy. So do it. So do it. And what about, what about you? Do you have any like uh, guilty pleasures or some really dumb oh. TV shows, like reality stuff? She's going to say no. Mm. Well, let me think. Definitely not TV shows, because I mm. never watch TV actually. Never? Never. She says like she doesn't have a television. Only movies. Does she I have movies? television, but okay. only for movies. Oh, okay. Not, um, not TV shows. I need to tell you that one guilty pleasure I used to have. Mm -hmm. was smoking actually oh, but really? I managed to give up and she doesn't look like a type that again? smokes no now I'm not a cigarette now and say come on <laughs> no smoke. thank you okay no, well that's I good that up, she got so rid of it no that's more. not good for um, your body I think nothing else basically and what right. about you actually people are often surprised when I tell them I've never tried a cigarette oh really yeah, me that's neither that's listen we on the same no, page but other things but never i've never, never even cigarette. smoked other things okay it's strange right yeah that's well, actually, funny i'm, I'm kind of lying general, no, i think i'm quite um nothing too bad you know not a crazy alcoholic or addicted Damn. to anything <laughs> that i shouldn't be addicted to so, no, alcohol is not, not, not no, and we're not, let me ask something this a little bit um, personal for me it's interesting right so oh. indulge me here oh uh, what are your bad habits like what are some bad qualities oh um, challenge like her to that. say she might say I she has none i can't really trust people well so sometimes oh, you know you can trust me <laughs> no i don't know 
<laughs> but this, this is me and Anne, she says she don't know, because you don't, we just met. I don't know. Ah. Right. So maybe that's a bad point about mm. me. But listen, that's probably um, all that baggage also, she's carrying. I'm crazy right. about being on time everywhere, so sometimes I'm oh. panicking when I'm running late. It's not a bad habit, really though. Like, I mean, that, that might be a problem. Like, really? Why? Yeah. You're always late. I'm never late, but I arrive, tell me that. I arrive like three seconds before. Before? <laughs> Uh, always You're before. Sure not after. Uh, I'm late if it doesn't matter. If, if it doesn't it matters, matter, like a flight or a train or a. Well, when people are waiting, I'm not late. But if it doesn't really matter, if we kind of say, "Oh, around that time." Oh, well, that doesn't count. Know, if you say around that time, airport, it's not late yeah, because not you didn't say it. Give a direct time. It, so that might be a problem. Uh, yeah, that might be a problem actually. Not because really. I like to come in advance. I wouldn't say that's no, a problem. <laughs> I can try it your way because actually I end up wasting hours just well, sitting there and if waiting. In the future, right? This is our first date. But if in the future <laughs> we go somewhere, okay. you can just go to the airport like five hours before. <laughs> five hours before. Meet just, you there. And I'll just come, yeah, I'll just come later and meet you on the this plane. This dude funny. Okay, that sounds funny. All right. This dude's something else. I can't even believe he just said that. All right. Yawn and put your arm around her. I don't think it's time for that. Put your hand on her legs. Check her pulse. Palm reading. Use the gypsy fortune teller to touch her ear. What is right here? Maybe check her pulse. I don't know. That seems a little normal than these other ones. This is probably wrong. Hmm, I need to figure out a way to touch her now. Drinking that wine, and actually, you seem quite nervous. Hope you don't mind me saying. Are you really nervous? Like, terrified? No, I don't think so. I don't believe you. Let me check. Oh, look at her. Uh, oh, she's, she's crazy. Oh, like, really? Yeah, like you're skydiving. Yeah, she, or she knows she. Boxing match she, she, try, she tried to hide it. Yeah, you must be super, super nervous. Look, check no, out I'm mine. No, I'm not. How you're as cool as a cucumber. Look, check it out. <laughs> They're nothing. Actually. Yeah, Very slow. Chill. Very slow. It's right to be nervous on a big date. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Don't think you are the reason. It's all wine. No. It's just me. Lying. Of course not. Why well, no. relax? <laughs> That's all right. She's lying. Never mind. You know. Really? Yeah. We'll Don't relax. Then. Okay. We'll relax. We'll be more comfortable. She's lying to but herself. Nervousness about, oh, is kind of connected all with the wine. No, fuck it's not. You okay. barely drunk any of that okay. damn wine. The little ass sips. This is a cool way to escalate. Nice right. one for okay. choosing it. Um, it's something I've used here. a lot in the past. It allows you to be playful and funny and make jokes about how nervous she is. So it's a good one. Do you like going out to bars, partying, all that stuff? Not really. Actually, no. I don't really like I mean, it because I don't. Um, people are just drinking there and I right don't now? really like to drink. Like us? <laughs> like no. people like right to drink. Now? No, they That's why she's taking them little <laughs> ass sips. They're just cheers. I think they're just drinking a lot and then they're crazy, dancing everywhere, oh, smoking. Oh, you mean like shots and Yeah, all this. Hard I don't drinking. feel that's, like that's that. How you, that yeah. That's, but that's how you get fucked Sometimes I go with my friends when they make me go, basically. When they make you go. You like yes. dancing? Can you dance? I really can dance when I feel like dancing, but it doesn't happen often. So that's why I don't go. I mean, that, there's so nothing wrong with that. Listen. I believe you, yeah? So if you were, if I you in the club you wouldn't be dancing on the bar or the table <laughs> no nothing like okay, that i don't Never. think that's what she meant when she says she dances yeah, i'm okay. very very self-controlled but you're single at the moment you wouldn't you don't yes, go to bars to meet men mm, really i don't think it's a perfect place to meet someone nice what'd you do then it internet? really is uh, no, and he knows internet, that he's just trying to get that. this out of her i okay. think that it's better just to live your life to work and go live to the life. parks wherever you go and and then one day you will meet someone when it's time. That's very romantic. So you believe and in true. Yeah, Some people I rush actually. things and you can't So you're single that. at the moment, right? Yes, you haven't got secret lovers and husbands <laughs> all around the world or no. something? No. Okay. And how is it? Because I know some girls, they, they're never single. They just have relationships, split up into the next one. Yeah, maybe. I, mean, I quite like it. I think it's better to be single than with with someone you don't like or something like that. Which is true, never That's do why that. That's why I really enjoy that. I have a lot of free time um, to develop my personality and to uh, do something, read and do more work. So I like it. What's your longest relationship? Um, it was about a year. 
A year? I once met a girl who said two weeks to that question. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of weird. Well, yeah. some things, some stuff yeah, happens. That's 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 what about that Stuff you? happens, though. It's uh, not my like longest was my first relationship two and a half years. Oh, that's quite long. Yeah. But how mm. long have you been single this time? Uh, it's about three months now. Three months. Oh, three months. If you don't mind me asking, and you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but why did you break up with your last... Oh, man? let's get down to the nitty oh. gritty up in here. Actually, we broke up because he was useless in bed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect to hear that one. So they broke up because he couldn't sling his thing. <laughs> that sounds more silly than what I wanted it to be. Like, she, But she really, she broke up with him because he couldn't use that. It wasn't impressing her it wasn't satisfying her basically is what she's trying to say well i think we can fix that one up <sighs> make a joke about how you just need three to five minutes sympathize and desexualize a moment say that must mean she hasn't been properly satisfied in a long time well three months is a little bit so you know we're gonna say that ah i see so and how long were you together about five months. So you're together for that long, then you're single for a while. So am I right in assuming that you haven't been um, satisfied? <laughs> in real talk. In a while. I know. That was real talk, because right. you were well, he wasn't giving it to you right. like you wanted, right? Anything. Definitely not tonight, because I've meetings tomorrow. But oh really? We'll see, yeah. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Fine, that's fine. I'm okay with that. No, oh, you are. Oh, she is. Wait, that was if right. If a girl puts it out there and she's already being sexual, well, then guess. your response has to be to take it a little bit further. Not Actually, too far, no, he's not but wrong. definitely not to if shy away from it. If she takes it there, it, then so you the take right it a little farther. All right, not too far, though. So, yeah, when I'm single, I'm, I'm definitely on dates because it's the best chance to meet girls and, you know, see if anyone would, would be good for a serious relationship. Yeah. But what, what kind of qualities do you like in a man? Oh. Oh, actually, many numerous many? qualities. Yeah, <laughs> I, hear him. I think the most important are uh, that he is um, honest and oh, trustworthy. I think oh, anybody man. wants that. Oh, no, so it's not about okay. you. <laughs> yeah, and also, of course, I would like someone very responsible yeah. and very manly. Someone who can manly, handle like on handle. a fox and a girl and shoot um, people. I don't no. think that's what she means. <laughs> I jokes. don't mean the appearance, I mean okay. the inner world, right? The I character. Like that. And I like people who yeah, I like uh, decisive. It's all about and personality yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. It's I don't like that. Character. Not all it's not all about looks. Yeah, and I like smart guys, obviously. That's very important. Mm -hmm. Oh, you just well, have to be smart. Okay, cool. Sounds like you're talking about someone. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not you, my guy. Really? Yeah. Uh, see, look, she's what kind of uh, girls um, I like? I don't know. I can guess beautiful girls, probably. Oh, uh, because that's I what like you are. Blondes, uh, brown eyes. Wait, she's not <laughs> <Okay>. blonde. <laughs> no, um, of course, you know, the physical appearance is important to start with. And well. then. I mean, yeah, because that's what you see first. Yeah, I'm so going to be honest, like right? You said you like shallow. honest guys. So I'm yes, not going to start lying immediately. Um, so definitely physical appearance is important. It's not and that then important. after that, um, intelligence, curiosity, of course, honesty. Um, like you said, and I like them. I like them to be actually quite different from me, so that they can different. tell me something different. Yeah, and that's interesting. That yeah. actually, that's like actually not too. bad. But like, I need to think about you know, that. Like, I agree. It's quite hard to to find someone. Yeah, it is. It's very hard. It ain't that hard. I mean, oh, wait. It, it's hard, but not that hard. <sighs> All right. Ask her what grade she would get in kissing school. That's actually kind of smooth, not gonna lie to you. Kiss one cheek, then the other, then kiss her. Tell her she looks like a baby lamb. Baby lamb and tickle her, then kiss her. Pounce on her and surprise her with a kiss. Do you know what time it is? Time to kiss. <laughs> these these freaking responses, man. Like It made me take my glasses off for a second because that is... <laughs> Where do y'all get these answers from? Like, y'all just, he was just, like, thinking, just writing down stuff. Like, what can I put in this game? What what can I put in this game for answers? And he comes up with this shit. <laughs> Yo, I can't. Maybe that. Let's see what we got here. Let come here a second. Yeah. Your What's that? 
Oh. Smooth <laughs> Let me see that one. I ain't gonna lie, that one, that is kind of smooth, not gonna lie to you. There we go, that's better. It's been a while, like, they've been talking for a little bit, so that's actually, that, that's how you do shit, actually. Yeah, that's cute, I like it, shy. Okay. And she's going all red, meaning she might yes, be embarrassed, well done. but not. That's exactly the way to do it, nice and smooth, gets the kiss, good work. I like that shit. Super seducer. I tell y'all, I Ideally, am the Ideally, we man want nighttime plus drinks, with right? With the plan. Sure that Congratulations, you made it. You got oh, shoot. And completed Hold on, I gotta take the glasses off for this. This is the now, first time y'all may see my glasses off. Because I need to act. This is serious. I didn't even know this was... Star ratings, plus get 50% completion, but it will be worth your while, so I suggest you go and do it. As a reward for completing the game, I'm going to give you a few secrets in the main Oh, we get game. secrets. Now, did you notice this? That there's um, a scene with a girl called Alexa, and there's another one called Jenna. We're talking about the club dance floor. Oh, we're going, going all the way back to... Did you notice that that's actually the same girl? That's huh? That's Shanna Vincent. Uh, something else in the game is that in the friend to girlfriend level, uh, Lilia, the girl in it. I remember her. My friend. She, uh, she's my friend since 2012. Oh, that's your she's actual friend. When it said friend to girlfriend, that was true. Like her going on to a design course. Finally, maybe most shocking is that the girl Kate is actually my wife of um, what? six months ago. So you didn't know that, and that's kind of like that's your wife. No wonder why I seemed so comfortable when you were talking to her. Further, and get the best possible ending then i've got an even better surprise for you so maybe go ahead and do that but again thank you so much for playing and i hope you really love the game okay are you kidding me i i, I wow yeah, the glasses are staying off now because I. Yeah. No, what? Remember when I said earlier in this video that the conversation was so comfortable and it wasn't dry because that's his wife. So of course they can talk like that and it be. It seems real. Not saying the other ones were dry, but this one seemed more comfortable than the other ones. Cause that's his wife. Wow. And then we're, let's just go back to the that that girl. She played two different people. She played the club girl, and she played uh, the first girl we saw on the street that we had the first date with. After. Wow. You you don't even notice that shit. I did not notice that was the same girl. You can't. You don't notice that. Wow. Okay, I I I don't even know what to say right now, y'all. If y'all see at the bottom, Super Seducer Two. I have a feeling that's gonna be much better than this one. This one was already amazing, so I feel like he's gonna step it up in the second one. Oh my gosh! Now he says something about getting. 50% on everything so we can get some ending. I don't know about that because we don't need that. It's probably going to just say something like, it's probably just going to say something that we don't need. So you know what, we're not even going to do that. But just look at everything we have done so far. Yeah, one, two, that's the same girl. One and three. And then yeah, the first date. I can see it now that it is the same girl. I can kind of see it. It's just the hair kind of fucked it up a little bit and the makeup she put on. I see it. Them two girls. Hopefully, what if we, what, you know what the thing is, what if we see any of these people in the, in the second one? Oh, that'll be, that'll be awkward because we're trying to get new girls, not, not keep the same ones. Now he said that girl is actually his, his actual friend. So this friend to girlfriend thing was actually kind of real but not real because he wasn't really trying to make her his girlfriend but that was his actual friend so it actually was a wow I, I can't but what about these other people like he said he said about his wife and then and then he said that 
Shanna Vincent or however you said her name. She's an actual actress. I need to look up what the freak she's in, what movie she's in or show because yeah, I, I nah. And these other women, who are they? Like I guess they're his friends too. He just got a lot of friends he knows. But alright, y'all, dang. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Now, Super Seducer 2 is coming up soon. And I'm I, I'm excited for it. But until then, you know. <laughs> we've been I, I can't even believe like I, I appreciate all of you for taking this far with me on this journey to getting these women and like I said Super Seducer 2 they better come with more than more than that they better come harder <laughs> and I mean what I said I mean take it any way you want because I'm talking about the girls here they better come harder <sighs> but until then Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>